Gebrüder Leonhard Blemer Kircheis is a special engineering company in the metal and composite cardboard packaging sector, with a clear focus on the international market. By using new technologies and materials, the company is constantly redeveloping existing machine concepts and creating new kinds of solutions, for example, for manufacturing aerosol cans. Embossed three-part tin plate cans are made in the fully automatic machine. Up to 400 cans per minute roll off the line. If up to 12 workstations are used on the automatic embossing machine, the output can be increased to 600 cans per minute. If eight stations are used, the output is 400. The can bodies, bottom, are all fed in automatically. The ETA Embomax enables precise embossing work for the can body related to the print image. It operates with a precision level of one-tenth of a millimeter around the circumference. Logos, lettering and any other decorations are debossed to a depth of 0.6 millimeters. The debossing work is possible for almost 360 degrees round the unit. The servo-driven-in feed screw, which is synchronized with the machine's main drive system, replaces the mechanical connection that was subject to wear through the transmission shaft and makes it much easier to change the format. A stop star wheel, which is also servo-driven, allows various stations to be selectively blocked off, even during the production process. This is particularly useful for analyzing and eliminating errors and assigning samples for quality control purposes. Hardened and surface-coated steel in feed screws are used to separate the individual cans in order to prevent any scratches on the cans. The tool area is highly accessible and provides enough space to attach a suitable inspection system to monitor the embossed image, e.g. a camera. The special clamping system holds the lower edge of the can safely in the station after it has been handed over to the turret by the in-feed star wheel. The lower receptacle pushes the can over the inner embossing roller by means of cam controls. Using laser optics, the embossing mark integrated in the print image is recognized. Then the can is precisely aligned with a powerful servo motor, one of which is located at each tool station in a fraction of a second. The embossing mark disappears after the closure within the double seam and is therefore not visible on the final can. After the material has been correctly positioned, the outer embossing roller runs against the can wall using cam controls and rolls over it in line with the inner roller. The embossing is produced on the complete can with just one turn. The cans are then unclamped gently without any damage taking place. Any faulty embossed cans are pneumatically rejected after they've been passed to the chain conveyor belts by the outlet star wheel. A system for monitoring the process parameters is integrated in the machine. A rapid changeover is made possible through the preset tool stations. Different formats and decorations can be used in a fast and flexible manner without having to adjust the machine. Maintenance is extremely easy and it is particularly simple to remove the units via the swiveling guide bar and the suspension unit. All the important information is displayed directly on the start screen. Axis offsets enable operators to perform precise adjustment work. The embossed can bodies are automatically fed to the can production machine, the Gamma 2, via the chain conveyor belt. The stop star wheel at the inlet point ensures the precise allocation to the workstations via the screw. If any problems arise, the infeed process is stopped, but the necessary can accumulation pressure in the infeed area is retained. The Gamma 2 modular can maker consists of various modules, in this case for processing aerosol cans. 1. Die necking. 2. Roll necking. 3. Spin flanging. 4. Bottom end seaming. 5. Top end seaming.
In the first module, the die necking on the top edge of the can takes place with tungsten carbide active components. In the second module, a roll necking process is carried out on the upper edge, which has already been necked in the first module to provide a gentle and wrinkle-free reduction of the diameter. The lower side of the can is simultaneously die necked. The flange needed for the seam is formed between the upper and lower flanging heads, which rotate in different directions by clamping the can with cam controls. The bottom seaming takes place through the tried and tested interaction of the pre-roll and pressure roll units in order to make a perfect double seam between the bottom end and the can body with an increased number of revolutions. The seal rollers consist of power metallurgy tool steel with a titanium carbonitrate coating or ceramics and this not only guarantees a long serviceable life but also wrinkle-free seams which meet the standards. The end destacking in the fifth module is similar to the one used during bottom seaming. The controlled partitioning mechanism moves the top end to the feed level. The passage through the unit and the in-feed and out-feed are registered in the machine through sensors. If any faults occur, the machine comes to a standstill immediately. After leaving the machine, the cans are moved along a chain conveyor belt for further processing or packaging in the relevant transport units. The Gamma 2 has other benefits too. It is easy to access, maintenance work is user-friendly and it is simple to change formats. It is possible to remove cans for quality control purposes at any time too. The Gamma is easy to operate via a touch panel. The fully automatic height adjustment facility means that different heights of cans can be changed in little more than a minute. The designs and functions of the latest generation of machine covers not only an unmistakable recognition factor with their emphasis on modular design, but also comply with the latest standards for operator ergonomics and safety from a functional point of view. Noise emission levels of below 80 decibels have also been achieved.